I think plastic surgeons have the best background to do cosmetic medicine and surgery. And plastic surgery has become a lot more than just surgery. We're now doing Botox and fillers to relax the face, take away lines in your face. We're doing light-based therapy for the first time to be able to rejuvenate. And this is something that plastic surgeons are the best at. That's my opinion. We have the background training and experience. We have the wherewithal of aesthetics. That's what we study. How do you take normal features and improve upon them? and how do you make them artistically flow within the face and in the body. And so that's why I think that for patients who are out there looking for somebody, how do you pick the right person? Well, first start with their background training and experience. Are they board certified? That's like having an airline pilot who failed his FAA exam. I mean, you don't want that. You want somebody that passed his boards. But that's just the beginning. Does he practice in the field of the area that you're interested in. Plastic surgery is a very broad field, so you want somebody that specializes in the area that you're coming to see him for. And when you do that, then you want to see if he has a passion for his work, if he really likes what he does. And if he does, then he's the right person for you. Man, woman, doesn't matter. It's the person that you have rapport with that has that training, has that passion for his work. I'm Dean Johnston. I'm a plastic surgeon, and to become a plastic surgeon takes four years of college, four years of medical school, seven years of surgical residency. And the surgical residency is a foundation in general surgery, followed after that five years by the two and a half years of plastic surgery. So it's a total of 15 years of training.